I noticed you have braces. I have braces too. <sighs> Roughly how long from doing this pollination to seed set? Hell, I am Mother Nature. I need to marry a Jackie, not a Marilyn. <laughs> so you're breaking up with me because I'm too blonde? There is violence in this home. What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It is I, Raquel, your plant madam. Yours, all for you. Welcome back to my channel. And today, quit trying to steal her toy. That's rude. Today, we are going to be looking at all of the orchids that are blooming in my collection right now. It's not gonna be a lot of FaceTime video, but I, cause I just don't wanna pull all of them down and that one needs to be watered. I don't wanna pull all of them down and, and mess up their blooms and stuff like that. They're very important to me and I'm super proud of all of them. So today we're just gonna go around and have a looky-loo CC at all the cool little orchid blooms that are happening in my collection. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe down below if you like plant style content from an eccentric queen. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so this first little cutie patootie is an orchid that has bloomed two times for me thus far. Twice, you guys. I am totes my goats and orchid mom. And if you look really closely at the veination on the very edges of these petals, it looks like little strikes of lightning, you guys. Orchids, Phalaenopsis orchids are so freaking beautiful and I know I get recommended a lot people are like you should try this orchid or that orchid I think I'm just trying to like get my practice in on these so that I kind of like master this but you could see that the leaf on the bottom is like dying and falling off and there's a new like glossy leaf coming out and so I thought everything was cool and then I looked it up and I was like oh no she's rotted I don't know what the hell happened, you guys. I guess I just overwatered it once. You can see that there's still like a couple of good green uh, roots left there. I don't know, maybe that's why she bloomed again because she was like on the verge of death and she was like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, sometimes I feel like all these blooms are death rattles. You know what I mean? Sometimes they keep on living, L-I-V-I-N. You know what I mean? Uh, anyways, I'm just, I'm so in love. when. From the moment those little tiny bloom stalk comes, it's just so incredible. So I had no clue that this one was looking so bad. It, okay, it's in this thing, this little brass planter thing, but it's really up high and I couldn't see how freaking dehydrated it was. So embarrassing, but um, okay. So cool story about this one though, if it actually lives beyond this filming day, is you see that brown crusty stem right there? That was the bloom stalk that it already had. You guys, it was not that long ago. If you go check my Instagram, I actually took pictures of that bloom stalk that you can see it's all dried and crusty. Didn't touch it, didn't cut it off, left it alone. I learned that from, I think Miss Orchid Girl or whatever. And boom, wouldn't you know it, this whole other bloom stalk came out of here. And it actually uh, surprised me one day. I was like watering this, um, philodendron uh you know over here next to it and all of a sudden the bloom spike like hit me in the head and I thought oh my god it's blooming again I mean wow wow it knocked my socks right off I love the insides of it and I put on my Instagram post that I feel like the very deep insides of these phalaenopsis always look like flying owls or like, um, like a falcon that's like catching something with its feet. I don't know, I'm always seeing shit. If you want me to be really honest, I probably see the men in, it's not men in black, was it men in black? No, it was Independence Day. Remember that crazy shit alien on Independence Day and it was like, no peace, you remember that? I kind of think of that thing when I see these orchids because the head of the way the head was shaped on that weird alien, I, 
could probably get a crazy chick. But, you know, um, that leaf looks like shit up there. And I don't even know if this orchid's going to survive. I can't believe I let it get that dry. I'm really ashamed, actually. This one is also a, a two-time bloomer for me. I'm sorry about the dogs making noise, but I cannot re-record this. I'm on, like, I'm on, like, number three. Um, this is the second time bloomer for this one also. I think you could see like the old dried up spike. You can tell when they go straight up, that's more of like a store bloom. And when they go straight down, that's more of like a, there you go. You can see the store bloom stalk up there. But I have several of these purple phalaenopsis, not all purple like the baby fowl, of these types. Like where it's a blend of the purple and the white together with the little touches of yellow and stuff. So I have this type of phalaenopsis but I have it in like totally different color arrangements. A couple of these blooms are a little bit on the dried out side which makes me really freaking sad. This one looks gorgeous. I mean take it all in. Look at that owl. You see the owl? Am I tripping? What do you see? Comment down below. This one um, and I'll show you some other purple varieties that I have too and I won't buy it if it looks exactly alike but there are so many different variations this one is um kind of rare for me like i don't see these at my lows very often i call this my rubber ducky orchid i did not grow these blooms it only had two blooms when i bought it but i thought the color was absolutely stunning it reminded me of one i saw in a logies magazine called carrot cake i think or something like that but i didn't order that it's got a brand new glossy leaf coming in I thought that was like mealybugs, but it's actually like just a hard water spot. And the one in the middle I thought was a mealybug and it was just a water droplet. But a lot of these leaves definitely need to be cleaned off and um, dusted off and stuff like that. But this, this bloom right here, I just thought was so freaking pretty. And it really does remind me of like a rubber ducky when I look at it. Rubber ducky. Oh, Lilu is just going to make all kinds of noise because she knows I'm doing a voiceover. What kind of, ooh, that looks like a little uh, dove or something flying on the inside of that one. <laughs> we had a little peapot and needy there. Okay, so here's like another type of the purpley white type that I bought. Look at the creaminess of this one. This one was really interesting. I actually, if you guys go and back and watch the video I did right before this, when I'm getting the terrarium ready to clean out, I took this orchid off of the terrarium and the blooms were like more you know full and stuff like that they hadn't um, been spent yet and it is really 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 super beautiful 20 bucks is a lot to pay for orchids usually i wait till they get marked down but this one had such an amazing type of pattern on it i just went ahead and committed the root system on this one looks hella bomb i don't know what i did to the other one to like jack its roots up so bad it must just be spence bag or something like that but there's some dry crusty ones on top, but there's a new glossy leaf coming out. Um, the other leaves look really good. Like I said, um, if the blooms are going straight up like this one, I bought this, you know, already bloomed at the store. And boy, it was a looker for a really, really long time. You want to buy your girlfriend flowers. I really suggest orchids because an orchid bloom will last for potentially months where a bouquet of flowers will only last you like a week or so. And if she can possibly keep it alive, I mean, that's a lifelong thing. So anyway, speaking of lifelong things, Casey bought me this for Mother's Day, this past Mother's Day. And I was absolutely devastated when um, I think, I don't know, someone was helping me, quote unquote, to water my plants and they didn't realize they weren't supposed to pour in like tons and tons of water. And then like all the leaves started falling off on this orchid, okay? It had like six, it looked gorgeous. It rotted all the way down to the crown. But it's actually got a little baby leaf coming out now. I didn't talk fast enough for that one. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Another one, well, that one went too fast. And then here we have a um, mottled syngodium that I just recently ordered from Steve's Leaves. It was an all by itself purchase. So, you know, I didn't have like a full haul video or anything, but I just wanted to show you guys, look at the freaking leaves. I need to take the plastic off. It is still in plastic right now. I need to get it potted up, but this is gorge, and I need to get a little um, spag moss pole to go on it too. My elbow syngonium is on a uh, pole, and it's in my tent, and I was thinking about, I don't know what video I'm going to do for you guys next. I got a lot of things cooking in the old brain pen, if you know what I'm saying. 
so this is me showing you guys my plant shopping outfit i'm sorry if you don't care about fashion okay this is fashion sweetie okay so pay attention this cute ass little strawberry top i got it off of amazon these little corduroy pants i got from jc Penney's. okay little under armor sports bra moment underneath is this not the cutest shit you've ever seen i've never been happier with an amazon purchase in my lids eye so i thought i'd show you guys what it looked like that's my pink little uh brahmin bag that's with it you know um ignore the panty lines i'm just trying to live my life casey's not paying me no mind and he's looking at his damn phone sometimes you gotta make him pay attention you know shove it in her face <laughs> so a local uh plant nursery newmars that i have been to quite a few times over the course of heart-shaped leaves plant shopping adventures they are shutting their plant nursery down and they are retiring so this is going to be our last shopping trip to newmars it's going to be the end of an era it's one of my favorites yep. they got like the little you know got a little see. greenhouse in there for some house so plants they're, and... they're having like a little 40 percent off sale so we're going to go in there and check it out and see what's up what's up, what's up? used to be really, really full. Yeah. Stuff, so I'll turn it back on when we get outside. Okay. See anything else you like? So this trip to Newmeyer's was actually pretty bittersweet. It was like I think the first plant like shopping adventure Casey and I had ever done for this channel, Heart Shaped Leaves. It was one of the first yep. places we ever went to as a couple just to go plant shopping together when when you know he was interested in it because I was interested in it. It was, you know, it holds a lot of memories for me. I mean, we came into this place a bunch and it used to be completely stocked and black, uh, stocked with plants all along. All of those shelves there, there used to be orchids all across those uh, shelves in the back. It was just a great place. And, and they didn't shut down because of lack of business. They shut down. The owners um, have been running this place for God knows, I don't even know, 30 years, I think. They actually have a house that is right in front of this greenhouse. So when you pull up, you actually pass their two-story house. And they, you know. You have to go to Sharon's or something. Finish it up. I don't think you're going to get it out of your system. This ain't going to do. This won't do. No. This will never do. But getting those little strawberry ceramic planters for 40% for off is. Maybe six dollars a piece. The bomb. So you are witnessing my last purchase ever from Newmeyer's. It's been nice knowing you. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed checking out all of my fantastical looking orchid blooms and stuff like that. So like I said, words of affirmation, like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you want to see next down below because with a um, more frequent upload schedule, ideas are hard to come by. We love you guys. Peace out. Later taters. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and a special shout out to all of my dirty plant enthusiasts and dirty plant hoes. Saholio, Stephanie Bazella, Cat Foliage, Shay Bro, Meg, Plants Every Inch 902, Michelle Reed, Casey Glidewell, Isabel Woodruff, Melissa Hartog, Cassandra Hines, Kim Toby, 
Wesley Lemontino, Tiffany Wright, Hazel Foreman, Perry Hope, Denver Home Girl, Stephanie Menzies, Amy Adwan, Fredo79, Louise H., Bobo's Mom 32able, Victoria Fonseca, Jay Lee, Ann Collins, Isabel Woodruff, J.S., Audrey Van Cherry, Lulu's Leaves, Pups and Plants, Sarah Parrish, David Sawyer, Michelle A., Monica Humphreys, Alina Cameron, Mrs. McGrath, Bonnie Estes, Bougie Panda, Lola Isabel, Amanda Jensen, Ashley Sexton, Ari Stardust, Trent Grolmus, Sarah Santis, Rhea Shields, Ordinary Plant Girl, Mara Baker, Sophie, Showers ASMR, Verdigree Dreams, Jennifer Rouse, Lillian Morin, Gretchen Ward, Darren Heppel, Sophia Bahadir, Abby Gilbert, Rachel Sharp, Nikki Smoda, Kimberly Mossman, Kaya Hauser, Jill Cunningham, Benner Lamb, Goncalo Martins, Not Dude, Alexandra Chilton, Jessica Viola, Jake Rowe, Christy Bim, Tanya Houtsager, Jenna Maria, Bernie Zhu, Seth Miller, House Planty Goodness, Heather Summers, Ace Cadet. And now for my very, very, very special official Dirty Plant hose. Andrew Wolf, Sarah Schwartz, Ilana Rivera, Shelby, Sue, Rebecca Lowry, Planitude Stern, Shea91, Danny Ryan, Natural State Ashley, Karen Brackbill, Sammy Joe Ruby, Carrie Katara, Kate Christie, Aaron Grant, Thick Ginger, Victoria Olson, Bailey Branham, Will H., Alexandra Kennedy, Crystal O., Brianna Boswell, Jennifer Lee Johnson, Jessica M., Gabby Barnaby, Tim Burton, Miss Lissa, Jess Marble, Hollis Good, Gab, Anna D, Spotted Oreo 10, Tammy Carroll, Emma LaCroix, Kristen Williams, Kelly Costello, Botanicaz LLC, Heather Worrell, Tara Peterson, Wicked Witch Roxy, Emily Cephalou, Nikki Grilly, Heather Lamb, Amy Baxter, Odd Avocado Tree, Stacey Anderson, The Plants Meow, and